he just softened that E and made it roll through from the double echo to the high A. And the next time John McFadden took me through that tune, that's the way he made me play. <laughs> okay, where before that he hadn't made me play it that way. So, Peabrook evolves, it just happens. So everybody adds an extra G grace note on that eighth note E in the last bar. So three, three G grace notes in a row. Three G grace notes in a row. I know it sounds bizarre. The middle phrase in the second line, which is, I think, one of the prettiest phrases in the tune. Okay, so it's just a, and that's, that's a little variation. Okay, so. Okay, first raise twice. Ready? One, two. Okay, so, yeah, that last phrase, which is really the coda to tell you what you're going to play in the next variation, is... Just because that's the way I was that's taught, and that's the way everybody plays it. On the C there? Down the C And I'm not sure it's even in the notes. In the people. Okay, let's play the ground. Ready? One, two.
starts on the low A. And the thing that I was taught to do is to not break the bars. Not go handi yabara dabara e and dabara e adi obro. What I tend to do is put a little bit on the third note And then I and then I just slightly wait on the second note in the second bar, so that the notes sort of four, five, six, seven, and eight in that phrase are kind of joined together across the bar line. So. Okay. But that is slightly different than you just play because it doesn't end with an F, it ends with an E. Second last one. So you just play that first phrase a couple of times. One. I was waiting for to write two. Okay, one, two. Okay, and then you just B to F in the second one, so it's... And we're playing with these E's and F's for the next two variations after that, too, so... Uh, Let's try the first line now. Ready? One, two. And E, 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 Kabbalah. So when we do the second line, what you end up doing is, if you look at the line two only bar, the line two only bar is the first bar of the B phrase, and then you play something that's similar to the second phrase, second bar of the A phrase, except you're going to low A, so you're playing. Okay, so there's your little, and that's the problem with the, with these big tunes is that they have you know every every variation there's a kind of a wrinkle like that. <laughs> it's slightly different that you have to keep track of. And in actual fact, if you look at the next variation, it's... And that's the bar that you've stuck in in the, the variation above in that phrase. You've stuck that one bar in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're playing actually a combination of... The combination wow. is if you look at the B phrase in that bar, 
in that in that variation is the first bar and then it, so again you're getting something in variation one that's from the doubling of variation one it's a little hint of it All right, so you're saying the second line fourth measure into the line two only that that comes from that the variation from the doubling. That's your in your A phrase. Yeah. So that's the A phrase from the doubling. The first bar and the second or sorry, first bar is the A B phrase of the doubling bar. And the second bar is the A phrase bar from the doubling. So you you're mixing that and you keep doing that. That wasn't very clear, was it? Damn alarm clock it went off at six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, I was mad. Jeez. <laughs> I thought that some, I thought something had happened to Sandy. Because I can hear this alarm clock going and then I can still hear it going and I wake up again.